Hello, welcome back to Paul's Racing Channel, to the Ultimate Racing League and to Round 5 of the GT4 Championship from League 4. Bathurst, Mount Panorama is the venue here in Australia, New South Wales. This is the third and final race, reverse grid. So let's take you through it. Let's get this underway. This will be the final time we say this for 2023. Here we go. Naif in pole position. Kebab Man in second. Max in third. Big Mac in fourth. Banksy fifth. Robbie sixth. Aspect in seventh. Niggle eighth. Mikey ninth. Wacky tenth. And James Stephen in eleventh. Here we go then. So Naif takes him away then. Up to turn one. Hell's corner. Do we do through here? Do we? Uh, does it all look good through here? No one's through, I think. There won't no one touching each other, I don't think. No, all clean through there. So that's good. Bad man under pressure from Max, though. Max must have got a good drive out of that turn one, and Big Mac is right behind them, and he's getting a good run too. Now remember, some of the drivers will be on mediums, probably in his final race, and that's not so good for Max, is it? My goodness me, just veered off to the left, and oh, and he's lucky not to get taken out front end damage. What happened there? He got himself on the grass, didn't he? And then it just spun him. Yeah, he was trying to go around the outs up the outside of the cars, actually. He's got his good run here out of turn one, didn't he? Trying to go on the outside of Wacky. Now, Wacky's just squeezing him a little bit as he just gets his left tyres on the grass. And then, at this point here, bye-bye. And he's off to the right. Keeps out of the way of all the cars. Fortunately, that James and Wacky didn't hit him. Oh, and actually, Robbie's had a, a moment as well, along with James, possibly. Let's have a look what happened there. So there's a separate incident. So you'll see Max go off there. And then I think Banksy it was who had the view off. And oh, well, no, it was before then. So actually, that was wacky, wasn't it? Let's have a look what happened to Wacky. Well, I don't know who's it. There was a big, big pile up, wasn't there? A lot of cars involved. So Wacky, some way back here. There goes Max in the foreground. So what's happened to Wacky? Did someone... There's James and Wacky coming round. Oh no, it's a big pile up. Knife maybe. Oh, I don't know who it was. There was loads of cars off at that point. Let's have a look back. I'm gonna see if we can find it. Knife it was who was leading it. He was certainly one of the ones involved when it slowed down. And oh, and it was a bad man, I think, who started it all. He went into the side of Yeah, big pile up. So Kebab Man just caught the back end of Knife here into the braking area. Look, smack into the back of him. That just domino effect everybody and it all just chaos. There at turn one, cars going off left, right, and centre. Green flag flying, but I'm not sure about that so much. But well, they're going to call the safety car, although I'm not too sure about that because they're all together. I get it, I do get why someone's called it, but all the cars are together. Okay, there's cars that have lost positions, but that's just how it is when you've got an incident like that. But okay, well, whatever. That's. Um, all the cars are together now. So anyway, Big Mac takes up that lead. So he managed to get through, didn't he? Without any damage by the looks of it as well. So he did well. Like a bad man. So let's see. As I say, I would imagine he'll should start it now that everyone well, now that everyone's here they should start it along the Conrod straight which will be when well, that was a massive pile up wasn't it at turn two all started by the kebab man who went into the back of knife and then it all just uh, completely stopped and cars hitting each other and big pile up there big mess so it's unfortunate because it was going to be looking like a good race, although everyone's still running, so we haven't lost anybody. Maybe just a few egos that have been uh, affected there. So let's see, should get it, start getting it going now. I would imagine Big Mac might as well get it going along the straight here. I don't see there any reason why we couldn't get it going at this point. Everyone's together. Yeah, away we go. It's got to start it now. Yeah, up the gears, so Big Mac then takes it away. Still everybody 
There's about three cars side by side, maybe even four or side coming down here through that chase, and you don't want to be going through there for your side, trust me. Oh, and there's going to be cars going off, and they, can they keep it? Oh, and there's going to be another big, I'll tell you what, really well done for the drivers there, because there was a couple of cars, I think Nath might be one of them, and someone else ahead of him who got their butt back tyres just on the inside of the grass, and it looked like they weren't going to stop, weren't going to make that corner, but they did, and managed to keep it all together. Oh, and it was a little bit of coming together for Nath and the kebab man there. I think there was a little bit of a coming together. I think Nath was on the inside of the kebab man down here at the final corner. It's all close again. Yeah, he went trying to dive down the inside of the kebab man. Got it done, but took some curb and then knocked the kebab man out as well. So it's going to knock him all the way back down, possibly to the back of the field. Yeah, it does. So back to 11th goes kebab man. Bit unfortunate that. But Big Mac there, ahead of Banksy in the lead. James up to third, so James has got himself to third spot, and then there's three going for it, Niggle, Knife, Aspect, Mikey behind them, so four cars in the mix here. Full fifth, sixth, seventh spot. Oh, and again, three going up here into turn two, is not gonna work, you've gotta calm it down, boys. Well, I think they sorted themselves out in the end, but yeah, that was gonna be another potential problem area there wasn't it but they managed to sort it out between themselves Mikey in sixth all over the back of Aspect just almost giving him a push up the hill Wacky there in seventh Niggle's just got away from him now he's going to try and chase down James so Niggle in fourth where he's been actually for the last couple of races hasn't he been in fourth spot that's his one and two Banksy trying to chase down Big Mac as well. He's in second in Banksy, but Big Mac uh, still holding it out in the front there. So he's on the soft, so he's, he's waiting for the soft to the last race along with Banksy. And then we've got James who's going to be on the mediums because we know that he ran the softs for the first two races, didn't he? Niggle, I think he's on the mediums as well. Mikey mediums as well, he will be, yep. Aspect. Oh, half a second for Aspect, he's had some damage as well, front uh, damage. He's going to lose a spot maybe to Wacky, there he goes, bye-bye, goes Wacky. What about his teammate Robbie? Is he going to um, he's going to get seventh off his teammate here? Well, we, we know Robbie's uh, not shy of coming forwards, is he? So, let's have a look. No, just sits it behind his teammate, so seventh and eighth for the Sylvias. There's the good bad man in ninth. So actually done quite well to get himself back up to a couple of spots ahead of Max and Knife. There's Max. And there's Knife and well there's Knife going the wrong way. Knife. Let's have a look, quick look at what happened to Knife. Well, he uh, lost it through a chase, I think. Yeah, done that, didn't he, in race two, exactly the same, pretty much, and then he tries to get back on, and the car's going to go for a burn, and, uh, yeah, giving it too much, and... Lovely Photoshop with a hotel in the background. Not sure the people watching on the balcony is too impressed, though. Probably the same as Knife, I would have thought. Big Mac glow in 11th, uh, in first, not in 11th. First for Big Mac. Head of Banksy, head of James. So now the two Mazda teammates are together. Let's see then if uh, Banksy allows James free. Oh, Big Mac just took a quite a big hit on the wall. So let's see what happens here. Is there a bit of teamwork coming into play here? Obviously, Banksy knows that James is uh, going to be fighting for the championship compared with himself in terms of points at the moment. So let's see if he does allow him to go through at some point. Not close enough yet though, of course. Niggle not the top five behind either in fourth. His favourite number at the moment, fourth this round. So Banksy and, Steve, and James Stevens. I'm going to call him Stephen James then. They come down the forest elbow.
So can James get a bit of slip from his teammate here? Can he get that second spot off him? Doesn't look like it, but in the background it looks like Wacky and Mike is having a battle where they go side by side. I think Wacky might have just uh, held off Mikey there. James with that fastest lap, 214.878. <coughs> Excuse me. So no, Mikey's still in sixth, can't get past Wacky at the moment. A leader, the big Mac though, gets the fastest lap. We've just been taken by Wacky Racer, who got, well, actually James got the fastest and then Wacky got it. So it's uh, 213.701 from Wacky. It's the fastest lap at the moment. Big Mac, James, he did get past his teammate Banksy. Now let's have a look where did that happen. Oh, it might be there. So was that the final corner or first turn one? He might have just pulled over here. He did, look, yeah, it goes up to the pit wall. Allows his teammate to go past, go on buddy. And then just slots in behind him into turn one so he did allow his teammate to go past good driving good teammate teamwork there from them two nickel fourth wacky who got that fastest lap in fifth along with mikey in sixth aspect not that far off in seventh robbie in eighth there's a good bad man ninth place for him 10th for Max and 11th for Nath. Taking it doubly cautious through that part now, isn't he, this time? No more uh, mistakes there. James, though, look out. Quick, he's got onto the back of our leader, the Big Mac, though. Oh, and that's... Oh, looked like it was going to be a big hit from the Big Mac. Wasn't actually that bad in the end. Just sort of graze the wall. It's that pressure from James. Oh, and the big man, he's not going to get that stopped and he's going to hit the wall. That was a dead cert because it looked like he was just going straight on. Did well actually to keep it going the right direction, but it's that pressure. It's all to do with the pressure with the guys from behind. So, what can the big man do? Can he? Uh, he's got a long way to go. He's got damage as well at the front right corner of his car that will clear should be okay but we've still got uh, well half this race to go and he's uh, under severe pressure from james he'll go as long as he possibly can though the big man certainly won't give up and he's not had the best of rounds here has he so he wants to try and do what he can here try and uh, Get a respectable finish by his standards. But James looks like he's not going to allow him to get the win. As he's all over the back of him now. And that uh, Mazda we know is quick. And uh, along the straights and a couple of big, big straights here at Bathurst. This is being one of them. It's just going to get into the draft. And he's going to take him up here at turn two, without a doubt. Big Matt will cover up the inside, so he's going to go around the outside. James, he'll just say, oh, I'll get you on the brakes, go around the outside instead. And just like that, exactly what he done. And that's what I would have done as well. Try to go around the outside, try and get him on the brakes. As we see Niggle and Banksy battling it out as well. Banksy right up the behind. Uh, sorry, Niggle right up behind Banksy. Through the cut in here. Crisscross from Niggle. No, I think Big Mac might have just had a bit of a bump there because he's come right into the hands of Banksy now so he had a little bit of an issue through there Banksy the second Mazda now going to try and get past the Big Mac but Niggle also all over the back of Banksy so he's going to have a say in this too so into the second half of this race three looks like Cloud covers come up, you know, the clouds come across, so there's a bit more cloud cover here, but we're not expecting any rain, so we should remain dry. And 
then we've got Wacky and Mikey, so actually this is building up to being quite a nice finish. James is clearing off up top, but from second down to sixth, we've got a whole train of cars here, and this could uh, this could be a great finish if these uh, all start fighting it out. James ain't going to have any part of it. He's gone. And those medium tires. Big Mac still holding it in second, but he's under pressure from Banksy in third. Niggle not far behind, and then we've got Wacky and Mikey who's getting onto the back of Niggle now. And then a gap back to the first of the Sylvia's aspect in seventh. Wacky does like to take a bit of grass here, doesn't he? But it compromises his exit a little bit, and uh, as we see, Banksy having a look up, but Big Mac didn't get that done. I see him pull out, have a look up the inside, but he wasn't far enough up there as Wacky takes another load of grass. And that's going to be Mikey going past him for sure this time. So Wacky's been exploring track limits and some. But it's not always the quickest way, is it? And he's going to lose a spot here on the brakes to Mikey. Yeah. So Wacky back to sixth then. Got to start do it all again now as Wacky. Just ahead of them, we've got Niggle, Banksy, Big Mac all fighting it out. So, Niggle, great drive through there. Now, Banksy didn't get quite as good a drive, and he's going to be all over the back of him now as Niggle. Now, there's not really a passing opportunity through the top of the mountain here. He just caught the wall as well, Niggle, so that's uh, just knocked him back a bit. There's not really anywhere to pass along the top here. All about putting the pressure on your opponent ahead of you. Or, yeah, ahead of you, sorry. And, uh, oh, and that's Big Mac. Big back, a big moment for the Big Mac. Let's have a look. And it's all closed everybody up as well. Yeah, up on the grass, that's the usual thing. Dirty tyres, don't make the braking zone. Straight on, smashes into the barrier, into the wall, tries to come back on, but ahead of all these boys. And they're all slaying up, and Niggles got round the outside of Banksy and Banksy's lost two spots to Mikey and Niggle. So Banksy back to fourth, Niggle and Mikey got up the inside of him. So now they're chasing down Big Mac and Big Mac, and that's another big mistake by the Big Mac. And oh, disaster. This part of the section of this track is a disaster, isn't he? Come around here and again, just didn't want to turn, did it? And it's right into the side of Niggle. Fortunately, spins out. Gonna try and get it going, but he's just smashed the back of his car up. Let's Robbie go now. Can he get it round? I don't think he can. Is that a, he's got it stuck, hasn't he? No, he's got it going, but down to eighth he goes. So, disaster for Big Mac. James is uh, not such a disaster for him, is he? As he clears off. Good driving from him. Mikey, though, he's taken up second, so he's managed to get second off a of niggle now. A bit courtesy of that Big Mac incident as well. So, second for him. Niggle third. Wacky in fourth. But this is the battle at a minute, second and third. Oh, and Niggle having a look up the inside. May have just touched a little bit of Mikey there. Not that little bit. But, oh, and trying to fight back is Mikey. Gets there though, does Niggle. So up to second he goes. Mikey will try and get that back off him. Wacky's going with him as well, in full spot. But this battle ahead of him still going on. 15 minutes in, into the last five minutes now of this third and final race of 2023. And what a blinder we've had to finish this year off, haven't we, here at Bathurst? gonna have another blinding finish I fancy. We had two blinding races one and two haven't we in terms of the finish as Niggle goes off now was that a touch from Mikey? Niggle done well to keep it on there but he's lost two spots to Wacky as well so have a quick look was there a touch from Mikey getting a little bit of revenge or was he did he just run it wide here? Niggle let's have a look it was all over the back of him wasn't it at this point Mikey now did Mikey try and get up the inside? Oh no, no, I'll take it back. I think Niggle just called the inside wall. 
but he did well to actually keep it back and get himself back straight. But he did lose him two spots, so down to fourth he goes, Mikey. Second, wacky third. Oh, and then Mikey's hit the wall, and there's a few errors coming into play now, isn't there? Between these boys, really trying to push everything they got out of these cars. And I think Neville just made another mistake because Aspect's on him. So he's going to lose another spot here. Niggles had a disaster there for them sectors, didn't he? Aspect up the outside. And he's got him. Going to be a drag race, but Aspect's got it just at the moment. And he's going to be on the inside through the chase. Yeah, so Niggle down to fifth. So, made a couple of small areas there, didn't he, Niggle? And uh, that's what happens. That's how soon you can uh, lose spots but he's fighting back try and get his back down at the final corner but no didn't get that done so aspect in fourth then now what can he do i don't think he's got the time we've only got three minutes left i don't think he's gonna have time to get himself on the podium but niggle's gonna have a bit of time to get past aspect here isn't he and i think He's going to get him up here at turn two as he pulls out, goes up the inside. Surely going to get this done. What they like on the brakes, who's going to break last? Oh, and he does get there, does he? No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Wasn't much in that break, was there? Aspect wasn't going to give it to him. And Niggle thought the same thing. Struggling to turn that car now, though, his niggle on those mediums for some reason. Got plenty of tread on him still. Just not wanting to turn at the moment, is it? So it's a bit of encouragement for Aspect. The fact that uh, that car doesn't look particularly settled on those tyres, does he? So what can Aspect do? Can he uh, get that third place back off of niggle? is always a telling moment up here at the dip up what the cars whether they're stable through there on the brakes okay at the moment what about down here forest elbow no he's not going to go for that down the inside either so let's take you through this field zone we've got james who's cleared off in front and mikey second wacky third Niggle we've seen in fourth, closely followed by Aspect in fifth, Robbie sixth, Banksy in seventh. Big Mac eighth. Damage as well. Kebab man in ninth. Max in tenth. And knife in eleventh. Battles on here for second and third as Wacky now trying to get past Mikey as we come into the final minute and the final lap of this third and final race. Gonna go for it now is Wacky up the outside. Turn two. Mikey's not gonna give it to him. Maybe a little door to door, but still second and third as they were. Wacky's still got that fastest lap, or a fastest lap, the 212.791, so it does actually get into the 212s now. Wacky. Well, is he going to get into the top two in the race? As it stands, not at the moment. Although he will be standing on that podium. That's our leader, James, who's done. Had a good night. He's going to get a hat trick of wins here. James, blue flag flying. It's got to be knife. There he is, yeah. So he's going to be lapped in a minute by James. Potentially, uh, James with, as I say, two wins already. There was Nath just uh, sitting on the side of the track there. 
letting the leaders go through. So he's had two wins. It's going to be his third. So a hat trick in. What a what a way to finish off 2023 for James Stephen. Going to take some valuable points into the championship into 2024, which I will update you with once I get them. Uh, once I get the, the championship standings next year. So congratulations to James. Three times winner here at Bathurst Mount Panorama round five. Well done. Wacky will get second actually for Mikey in the end there. So second for Wacky, Mikey third. Aspect fourth, Niggle fifth. That was close. Aspect just getting niggled there, wasn't it? Robbie will come in his sixth spot, Banksy seventh. Actually, Wacky did get Mikey, didn't he? In the end there, for second spot. So I missed it, though. So Banksy seventh. Big Mac in eighth spot. Closely followed by the Kebab Man in ninth. Max were coming in tenth, and Knife got eleventh again here in race three. So thank you all so much for watching this uh, championship up to this point we'll bring you more coverage of the rest of it in the 2024 and uh, just one more thing to say really have a great Christmas break and I'll catch you again in the new year and uh, yeah take care of yourselves and see you soon